Okay, let's get the next training session underway, uh, brought to you by the letter tape. This one is uh, an answer to a request that someone had about building a ride underground and through terrain or through mountains like we have on the side here. Okay, maybe they're just hills. So, to do this, let's go ahead and start up with um, other rides and car. So now we'll place the first piece and if you watch the elevator tutorial you know about hitting Z to rotate which direction you want the starting piece to go. In this case we want it to go to the right. So I'll go ahead and click to build that piece. And then here is where you've got actually different uh, directions up or down that the terrain or the track can go as far as a uh, wide bank and a tight bank. For now what we're going to do is we're going to just go straight through this hill. So I'm going to select straight and then I'm just going to say go ahead straight piece, straight piece, straight piece, straight piece, straight piece and just continuing into the hill and you can see that as you enter you're now getting to see a cutout of the track through there. I'm going to keep going. I'm just going to go straight through and it's going to burst through the other side. Now at this point I'll go ahead and do the bank. Click again to drop that piece. Go straight. Click again to drop that piece. Straight, straight, straight. Let's do a bank to the right. Click again to drop that piece. Straight. Click, 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 click. But this time, I'm going to mix things up a little bit. In place of going through here, we're going to go down. There's two ways that you can lower uh, the track piece. I'm just going to go with the simple way first here. I'm going to do gentle slope. So now you see that the piece has changed to gentle slope. And then just go ahead and put it down. Now uh, you can see the cutout view. At the end I'll show you something you should enable just to make this process a bit easier. We'll go straight, lay that piece, 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 go up, lay it, lay it, lay it. Now that we're at the surface, do a flat piece. Just keep clicking to lay those pieces. Another right turn. Click again to apply it straight. Click again to apply it. Right turn. Click again to apply it straight. And now what I want to do, which is pretty important, laying any type of a ride um, where there's track involved, and that is this one right here that's actually grayed out. So you may think that it's not available, but that's a station. And I'm going to click station and I'm just going to keep clicking one more time to finish the ride. What that does is that gives you a longer area in order to lay a ride entrance and a ride exit. If you just had one single space you would end up having to put the entrance here and the exit inside of the ride which depending on your layout of your park that would be kind of weird. Now one thing that I didn't do correctly here which is a good uh, lesson is that I have pre-existing pathing right next to where the station's at and I cannot lay an entrance or an exit on an existing path so what I need to do is click on trash can single square and that was a mouse error and delete, 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 and delete. Now we have a place to put the entrance and exit. So if you click back on the details for the ride, now you can choose an entrance, which I'll throw right here. And we also need an exit. That's not an exit. That's whether there's a sign above it or not. Here is the exit. 
So now what we have is we have a ride that goes through a mountain and underground. Now what I recommend if you're going to be doing a lot of this or any of this is to go into the views or the view control and the third from the bottom is or actually the second from the bottom is toggle terrain transparency you click that and it'll always have on transparency of terrain for rides that go through terrain in the case underground and through the mountain it'll be a lot easier especially if you get into building fancy uh, say um, mine car rides so let's go ahead and kick this ride off into test mode and hop in and see what it's like so here we are going through the mountain there are other things you can do to enhance the look of inside the mountain um, change the ride a bit but that will be a future tutorial and now we're blazing along really fast in this car ride and while we're here I'll just show you you can change the view it's like nose at the uh, at the base since we've got transparency on we can see above ground so obviously you want to turn that off if you want to record <laughs> the ride so they don't look funky but there we go exit out of there so we have effectively gone through a mountain and underground hope this helps you and I look forward to seeing what you make soon